Hey, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do kind of a public service announcement. Um, I see all the news articles about people adopting dogs during the pandemic. You know, it was like a trend last summer. It was like everybody's at home. We have so much time on our hands, so everybody's adopting dogs. That's wonderful. Um, the people who fostered animals, that's great. The people who adopted animals, I was so nervous because just because we have time now, the pandemic hopefully will not last forever. So, you know, just because you're off work March through December doesn't mean you're not returning to work in January and your schedule has now changed. Or even if the pandemic lasts two more years, the dog will be three or you would have had the dog for three years. And what happens after that when your schedule changes? Or some people who, like me, I was only able to work from home for three months and then I got called back into work. Um, so it just made me really nervous when I saw people adopting dogs just because they now had extra time on their hand. Because a dog is a lifelong commitment. Dogs live anywhere from 10 to 25 years regularly so it just made me nervous so this video will serve as a PSA for anyone looking to get a dog because they now have free time so if you're working from home or I don't know something has changed in your life where you feel like hey I want a dog this video is for you there are three main questions you need to ask yourself before you make any life change really whether it's picking up a hobby but especially if it's adopting a dog or a child or decide to have children and that is do i have the time do i have the patience and do i have the money because just because dogs are not human children do not mean they are inexpensive whatsoever. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive raising a human child um, because of school and clothes and everything, but these vet bills are no joke. Um, I mentioned in a few videos ago that Max had heartworms when he was about five or six because he was with my family for the first few years of his life and none of us were um none of us knew to give him heartworm treatment because he was in the house you know he was outside maybe 20 minutes a day for his walk but he was a house dog and now he's outside a lot more but um if you hear the honking that's roxy you know she has a collapsed trachea um but he caught um, heartworm even though he was always indoors and that's why I'm always stressing to anyone with a dog you need heartworm preventative I have three dogs and the heartworm preventative for all three of my dogs is about $700 a year which isn't a lot and most people have one or two dogs so it's not a lot it's like um, I don't know you can break it down the monthly cost of that but it's not too much but you need to think about that stuff because if you're in college or something that is a lot of money um let me see when he had the heartworms that was like a five thousand dollar treatment uh, his medicine and just going to the doctor we it was like a three-month treatment and it was a whole shebang um, now Roxy has a collapsed trachea, CC has pancreatitis, their food is more expensive now because of the diets they have to be on. It's just dogs get more expensive as they get older, like humans. So you need to make sure that you, you have that money right now to give them the things they need, whether you're adopting a puppy, um, but especially if you're adopting an older dog, you need to make sure you have just the money set aside for emergencies. Um, because they can just pop up out of nowhere. One time I broke Roxy's toe. She is one of those dogs that sits under you. So whenever you're walking, she's right there. She's under you. Like you'll break your neck trying not to break her. And one day I was wearing heels and I backed up, crushed a toe. So I, I broke her toe. I don't know if it was broken or spring, but her toe is crooked now. Um, but that was an emergency vet bill. We had to go to the vet that was like a... I think it was like a $500 visit. So you just gotta be aware. You gotta make sure you have that stuff set aside. So if you're not responsible with money, you may not need to ha have a pit. And of course you need time. Um, geez, I do work a full-time job 
and I was in college full time but I always made the time I still make the time at the end of the day I pay attention to the dogs I make sure that they are well groomed that they get in their walk every day it's so important to make sure your dog is getting in their walk every day I have a neighbor who has a dog and I'll see her walk her up the the driveway well the the the, the parking lot where we live she'll walk her up the parking lot and then to the corner and then she'll walk right back and that's nowhere near enough exercise for the dog i don't know if she's afraid to walk by herself maybe i'll ask her does she need a walking partner because it's stressful for me walking by myself because i get hit on like just creepers you know driving down the street and i have three dogs and or there could be a stray dog anyway you need to make sure you have the time to walk your dog um to make sure they're getting the proper exercise because just like you if a dog doesn't get the proper amount of physical activity that can result in some serious mood issues some behavioral issues depression so you need to make sure you're spending time with your dog don't get a dog and then keep it in a crate all day don't get a dog and just let it wander about or sit in its bed all day while you're staring at your computer you need to make sure you're spending time with your dog it is a growing being it is a developing being it has feelings it has emotions it can be happy and sad and it's important for people to remember that. I just wanna stress that you have to understand a dog is not an accessory. It is something you're agreeing to care for for its entire life. So make sure that you go in understanding that and committing to it. The last thing, well, it's not the last, but it's the last thing that's on my list for the top three things I think you should ask yourself before adopting a dog. And that is, do you have enough patience? Having dogs is a very hectic, stressful thing. It is the the greatest joy of life, I really do believe. Like, there's nothing like having an animal at home who loves and adores you, but it can be very stressful. Um, you need the patience when they're dealing with health issues. You need the patience when you're training them. You need the patience, potty training, um, command training, whatever kind of training. It's You're getting to know another living thing, and so, there needs to be a lot of patience there. So you're building a relationship with your dog. Roxy has a collapsing trachea. Um, Cece has pancreatitis and Max is just extremely needy. And so I have to sit with them all um, certain days. Sometimes I'll spend a whole day, like I'm doing my work and stuff at home, but in between that, I'm making sure the dogs are comfortable because they are older and I just wanna make sure everything's good. It's It's, really important to monitor them you don't have to obsess over your dogs like i may do but to monitor them because if i didn't monitor them if i didn't pay close enough attention take the time and the patience every day to observe them i would not have caught max's heartworms as early as i did so i'm very grateful for that um but yeah when they're outside on the leash they might bark at other dogs you have to train them with that and if you don't train them with that you have to be patient outside when they're barking and acting crazy and pulling on the leash there's just a lot of components to owning an animal i don't like saying owning but having an animal that you have to be patient you know, like you have to change a bit you have to roll with the punches you can't try to force an animal into this square okay they have their own personality just like children and also you don't want them to be depressed or feel afraid of you like you want them to be comfortable being themselves it's up to you as the um the provider to make sure that they are comfortable but obedient um that your your lives are aligning <laughs> like their behavior goes with your lifestyle that's up to you but you can't you know you can't suppress an animal you don't keep an animal in a cage all day you don't just ignore it because it's not fitting into your life today so um yeah those are the three questions i ask you to ask yourself before adopting a dog, a cat, a gerbil, anything. Do you have the time? Do you have the money? Do you have the patience? I think that's the key to anything really in life. Do you have the time, the money, and the patience? So yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. I just, um, someone I know just adopted a dog and I was talking to them about heartworm preventatives and they were like, yeah, I'm gonna get it eventually. And it's just, oh, that scared me. And that just made me think let me just make a video about the things you need to really ask yourself and truly be honest with yourself about before you get a dog before you commit to 
um, providing for something for his entire life. So that's a big commitment. And people need to understand it's a big commitment having dogs. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've recently adopted a pet during the pandemic, let me know down below in their name and how things are going with you guys. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.